A company's board of directors has the authority to control the company's affairs. Before filing a derivative suit on the company's behalf, a shareholder must typically demand that the board do so. In In Re the Limited, a leading tribunal for corporate litigation explored a narrow exception. Leslie H. Wexner was the founder, president, chairman, chief executive, and largest shareholder of The Limited, a retail chain. The company had excess cash, and its board decided to use the cash to repurchase the company's stock. The board also decided to rescind an existing redemption agreement with the Wexner family, a move that benefited the Wexners and freed up additional cash. A group of stockholders argued that the repurchase and rescission were wasteful and violated the director's fiduciary duties. Without submitting a demand, the stockholders brought suit in the Delaware Court of Chancery. The complaint alleged that board members lacked disinterest and independence in approving the transactions. The first two directors were Wexner and his wife. Directors three and four were each making almost $2 million a year as officers of the Limited. Director five, an education administrator, received a yearly six-figure consultancy fee. Director six, a university president, had successfully solicited a $25 million donation from Wexner. Director Seven's company derived substantial revenue from the Limited. Director Eight was the director of a subsidiary. Directors Nine, Ten, Eleven, and Twelve had been fee receiving board members for years. The company filed motions to dismiss for failure to submit a demand and failure to state a claim.